Hi guys, this is Calera Hudson of While They Play Designs, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a no yarn crochet bind off. So if you take a look here at my piece of work, I have just completed a right side row and I'm ready to do my bind off, but I have ran out of the yarn that I'm working with. So the first thing you wanna do when working this bind off, you want to work it from the opposite side of where your yarn is finishing off with. So I'm going to slip these stitches back on to my left hand needle. And you're just slipping these purl wise without working them. Now, once you've reached the last stitch or the first stitch of that row, you're done with your second needle and you're going to use a crochet hook that is the same size or maybe smaller, one size smaller. I'm using uh, six millimeter US tens. So I have a six millimeter 10 J crochet hook. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to slip the, the first loop or the first stitch purl wise from right to left onto our hook. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the second stitch on the needle. So now we have two stitches on the crochet hook and you're simply going to grab the left stitch and pull it through the right stitch. Just like so. So now we have one stitch or actually two stitches bound off. And then you're gonna repeat that second step. You're going to place the hook through that first stitch on the needle right to left and then you'll pull that stitch through the loop that's already on the hook. So this can be a little fidgety when you're first starting out. You can kind of rotate the crochet hook towards you after you place that stitch onto the end. Just rotate it like so and pass it through the stitch that's already on the hook. And you'll just work this all the way across the stitches on your knitting needle. Okay, I've almost reached the last stitch on my needle. There we go. I'm gonna slip that onto the hook, done with my knitting needle, and then pull that last stitch. I'm gonna grab my working yarn here so it doesn't go anywhere and pull it through that loop on your hook. Now you can simply pull your working yarn through that final loop that you made. And now our no yarn crochet bind off is complete. There is a little bit of stretch to this, but you have a really nice chain effect where we crocheted that bind off at the top. This is actually a very sturdy bind off edge if you're wanting to create a shawl with um, fringe that you want to attach to it, or if you don't want a lot of growth happening on the edge of your particular project. Another reason that I really like this particular bind off is if you take a look here, it sort of mimics the long tail cast on that I used for this swatch. You can see it's just a series of chains and our long tail kind of mimics that same bind off. And then from the front, if you take a look, you can see we have the edge of our long tail cast on and then the edge of this crochet bind off just seems to mirror that cast on edge. So that's another thing that I really like about this technique. So that is how you create the no yarn crochet bind off. I hope this technique and video helps you guys out. Thanks so much for watching.